So one of the other benefits to the Nexus 6, besides the fact that it is a super fast vanilla Android experience, is the fact that it is also very easy to gain root access. Google actually builds in a command into their Nexus devices called Fastboot OEM Unlock uh, that allows you to simply type the command and unlock the bootloader and allow you to change basically whatever you want about the operating system. Now this tends to lead to a lot of third-party development, custom ROMs, custom recoveries, and all this other fun stuff to do. Now, while the procedure isn't very difficult, uh, if you're new to rooting or if you just want to make sure you get everything done right, I'm going to do a video on showing you how to not only root the Nexus 6, but also flash a custom recovery and then kind of delve into the world of custom ROMs. Okay, so first up, this tutorial is going to erase your device. So make sure that you back up anything uh, that you really need to. Also, this will require Windows because the toolkit I'm going to use that just makes it a lot easier for most people is a Windows toolkit. And finally, Let's download that toolkit by clicking on this link here beneath the video and finding the developer's toolkit. And you'll see the download link here, it's the .exe. And click begin and click that. And save it to your desktop. Once that's downloaded, we're gonna right click the toolkit and run as administrator. Hit yes, click install and wait for that to install. Eventually this should pop up. Uh, you're gonna choose which one you have. I have a Nexus. And you're going to choose the build that you currently have, which you can find under settings about phone. And then click apply. And okay, then we're going to plug the device in to the computer via USB. And we're going to pull down the notification shade, tap up at the top, tap the gear, go to about phone, scroll all the way down to build number, and keep tapping that until it tells you you are a developer. Then we're going to hit back and tap on developer options and tap USB debugging, okay. And enable OEM unlock as well. And then we're gonna wait for our drivers to install. After the drivers install, you should see something pop up on your phone about a RSA key. If you don't, the drivers probably didn't install properly. So I'm going to open up my charms menu, type in device manager, open that one. And then you're gonna see here, I have an exclamation point next to ADB interface. So I'm gonna right click that, update driver, browse my computer, let me pick, and you can do ADB interface and hit next, hit next, hit yes. And now it should be installed. And if that worked, you'll see the RSA key I was talking about, hit always allow, hit okay. And now we can get all the downloads that this guy is going to download. So just click download and update all file dependencies and wait for that. At this point, the toolkit will open. If you didn't get that RSA key thing, you can go in here now and actually do this um, uh, driver installation guide and try to get it to work. Uh, but since I've already got it, we're just going to move on. First thing we want to do is, well, you want to do a backup of all of your photos, anything that's really important, etc. I'm going to then just unlock my bootloader by clicking on this here. Okay, again, this is going to wipe everything. And now we're going to say yes, because we are plugged in and we have USB debugging connected. And if it gets stuck here, we're going to go back to device manager. And you'll see that fast boot is working. Update the driver, same way we did before. And then hit OK to try again. And now it should find it. You can tell by this right here. And on the device, it's going to give you a little warning about be careful when flashing custom operating systems. We want to make sure we highlight yes by using the volume up and down buttons and then power to select it. And it'll say unlock. Eventually, the device will reboot and you'll be back at your setup process. You're going to just kind of skip through that. And once we get to the home screen, we're going to pull down the notification again, tap on the gear scroll all the way down to the bottom and tap about phone. Scroll down again, build number, keep tapping that until it tells you you are a developer. And we're hit back, developer options, and we're gonna turn on USB debugging, click OK. This thing should pop up again, hit always allow from this computer and OK again. And then we're going to 
roof the device. I also want to flash custom recovery because that is what allows us to flash custom ROMs, which are a lot of fun. So we're going to check that and click root, click OK. And once it finally boots up, we're going to tap on super user. And if nothing pops up, it doesn't prompt you to do anything, then super user is all updated and good to go. We are then going to tap on the BusyBox free installer and granted super user permissions, which if that works proves that we have root access. So that's good. Once it's done loading all of that, tap install and you're all set. After that, you're all rooted relatively easy enough. Um, if you would like um, to donate to the guy that made this toolkit, you can click on this link right here to do that. Now you can stop there and just have root access and use root required apps from the Play Store to do various things like remove bloatware, etc. But a fun thing to do is to flash custom ROMs. So to do that, you're gonna click on this link here to be taken to our Nexus 6 ROMs repository, um, which is constantly updated. Right now there's just one, um, but by the time you do this, there'll be more. And then we're going to actually click uh, whichever ROM we want to try and scroll down until we find the download link and click that. You can be taken to the developers page for that ROM. You're then going to scroll down. I mean, check out to see if it's something you're interested in. And eventually you'll find a download link. So click that right there. Download whichever one is the latest version. Save that to your desktop. And some ROMs actually include Google's apps. Uh, some don't. Google's apps include the Play Store, Google Maps, etc. In this case, it doesn't. So we're going to click this link here to download that to our desktop as well. Okay, then we're going to turn off USB debugging, or at least I had to, um, in order to get to the Nexus's internal storage. So I did that, went to Nexus internal storage, and I'm presented with those folders. So now I'm going to take the G apps and I'm going to take the ROM file and leave them as .zips and pull them to the root of this internal storage. So not inside any of these folders, just on the internal storage itself. Then we can unplug the phone and turn it off by holding down power. Then once it's off, we're going to hold down volume down and power at the same time until we get this screen. Then we're going to push volume down until we get to recovery mode and power to select that. And once we boot into recovery mode, first thing we're gonna do is a backup because that's always a good idea. And swipe to have it do that. Once the backup is done, we're not gonna reboot the system. We're gonna actually hit back, back again. And now we're going to tap wipe. Uh, and we're going to swipe. Once that's done, hit back again, back one more time. And now we're going to tap install. And then you're gonna scroll down until you find the ROM file. So we're gonna flash that first. And you can actually, in this one, you can do add more zips. And we're gonna add the Google apps if you have one. And swipe to flash. Once it's done, hit reboot system. Wait for it to reboot. Once it reboots, you'll be running your new custom ROM. Uh, you can simply repeat this process by downloading another custom ROM, putting it on your phone, uh, wiping data, flashing, all that fun stuff uh, to just try out as many ROMs as you want until you find one that suits your needs. And now you're all set, you're rooted, you have a custom recovery, and you can flash ROMs. If you want to flash other ROMs, simply click the link below to go back to my uh, repository on the site, and you can just basically kind of flash those to your heart's content. I uh, hope this helped you guys. Um, if it did, please thumbs up it or share it. Those are greatly appreciated. Um, and subscribe if you want to see more videos on how to get the most out of your devices. As always, thanks for watching.